straight punch. In the basics of oizuki, you practice paying particular attention to the angle of the bend of your forward knee, the tensing of your rear leg, and the forward advance of your hips, while maintaining them at a fixed level. Since there is a tendency to extend your shoulder too far, position your hips squarely forward and keep your upper body straight. Make it a point to coordinate the movements of the legs, hips, and punching hand. When punching from a free stance position, try to strike from the position of your hand in the stance. <laughs> Variations of Oizuki. Next, Let's look at some variations of Oizuki. There are three variations of Oizuki. In basic punches, you strike when your foot comes into contact with the floor. In Kumite, in many cases, you speed up or slow down the timing of your punch according to the situation, and this is more effective. Here, you punch ahead of your leg. In this case, you move your leg first to alter your timing and then execute a punch. Now let's do these at actual speed. Here you punch first. In order to speed up the timing of your punch, move your body together with your fist and then thrust it out. With a feint, you alter your timing and then punch as your leg touches the floor.
decisive punch. Here, let's look at the differences in punching from different distances. If you are too close to execute Gyakuzuki, execute a decisive punch with Tateken, fist with thumb upward, without too much of an elbow bend. As the distance becomes closer, bend your elbow more and execute Sokozuki, punch with fingers upward. If the distance is still closer, there is the tendency to force a punch which results in your upper body leaning backwards or your shoulder being pulled back. This is not effective. Be sure to use your hips fully, especially when executing a strong punch from a close distance. Make sure that no opening exists between your punching hand and your side. Also, there's a tendency to put too much power into your shoulder in small techniques. Be careful to avoid this. If you pull your arm back from the stance position before punching, this will delay your attack. Unlike the case of basics, in actual kumite, it's important that you execute punches without changing the position of your fist. If you withdraw your hand before punching, your attack will be delayed by the time required to draw back your hand. Learn to allocate your power in a rational manner in levels from 0 to 10 in order to punch effectively without changing the position of your fist. Make an effort to use the power produced by the rapid shifting of your weight as you step into punch. <laughs> 